Unlike Wi-Fi, 5G was not designed to share spectrum. And that's a problem. Why? We're running out of spectrum and a lot of companies want to run their own private 5G networks. 5G needs to learn how to share. And where that's happening is in the CBRS band. So if you look at the radio spectrum, from a little less to one gigahertz, a little higher than two gigahertz, these are licensed bands where you have 4G and 5G. So this is where your Verizon, your T-Mobile, your Orange, your EE, if you buy a cell phone, it's probably in here. Up around 2.4 gigahertz, this is where you have the ISM unlicensed band, and that's where a lot of the Wi-Fi is. There's another ISM band up at five gigahertz, the five gigahertz Wi-Fi. And then way up off the top of the piece of paper is millimeter wave. This is where you find Verizon's ultra wide band, Starlink talking to its satellites, way up here. The band we're talking about for the private 5G networks is in here between 3.3 and 4.2 gigahertz worldwide. In the US, it's a little narrower, right around 3.5. And this is called the CBRS band, Citizens Broadband Radio Service. And it's shared spectrum. It's not unlicensed and it's not just licensed. It's a little bit more complicated. In the CBRS band, there are a couple licensed users, the military using it for whatever they're using it for, a couple operators talking to geosynchronous satellites. They have licenses and they have the highest priority. Other users though can use it on a temporary basis. So you set up your own private network 5G. You use the same kind of gear that goes in a cell phone tower and it can talk to existing phones, Android, iOS, but you have to give the phones your own SIM. When you set up the network, you get SIM cards and they're either physical cards you actually put in the device, or it could be in an app, an eSIM. So why is this better than Wi-Fi? One, the transitions, if you have multiple base stations, and Wi-Fi, when you go from one to the other, you get this little gap where there's no coverage. But 5G just handoffs. You don't even notice. The other reason is that at a lot of places, like big shows, conferences, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz will be completely filled. For reporters or whatever to set up this private network on this other band at 3.5 gigahertz, they can have enough bandwidth to go around doing video on the show and not be interfered with by the regular phones that are on Verizon, that are on AT&T, that are on Wi-Fi, they just don't interfere with them. So it can be really important for these high priority users to get their jobs done. In conclusion, I want you to subscribe.